Oculus Blind is that it's very complicated. Nothing in animation is easy, and this is by far the hardest part of it. Um, this is just kind of the big part where you have to go through it, and you have to really juggle a million plates, and you have to get in there and really just start tweaking everything left and right. It's probably the hardest part. So just accept it. Um, don't think it's just you that you suck and that everybody else can do it magically somehow. Um, so, okay. Next, work on little bits at a time, little moves at a time. Um, for example, this is the shot we'll be animating where the character just standing, dissipates down, jumps up, and kicks. Um, there could be more poses here where he, you know, lands and all that stuff, but for this example, this should work. So I will probably just do the anticipation down as my first block in the spline. And I will leave the rest in step mode. I will leave these two poses in step mode. That's what I mean by work with little bits. Don't try to take on multiple actions at the same time. Uh, it gets too complicated. It's too many things to do. It's hard to wrap your brain around it. It's easier just to be like, okay, my character's going to come down. And then he's going to jump up. So just focus on comes down. Now you'll give all your um, body parts and little pieces the attention it deserves instead of trying to tackle on a big chunk at a time. Hmm. You notice my cube broken down here all the way up to here and it rotates. I'm actually going to try and do you work with it. There we go. So they're not doing that crazy jump. And bam! See that? This huge little thing right there, um, if you notice that stuff, I'm going to undo. Let's see one more time. So I thought it was the elbow being crazy, but it was actually the wrist. And you could see it really clearly in the graph editor, where all my keys are down here, and then all of a sudden I shoot up, and now I have keys up here. And even the numbers, this is 105. I'm down here in negative 171 to 105. So I somehow must have rotated this in a really crazy way. So if you notice, and I'm getting this weird twist. Instead of like manually going in there, frame by frame, um, you know, let's just view or filter these. And it'll like regulate the numbers and those extra rotations. So that's an awesome example um, of stuff to keep an eye out and why the graph editor is so amazing for spotting these things out. All right. Uh, so let's see. So if I make this like this, so it goes straight down. As the as the body goes down, his head's going up a little bit. And I kind of already have it here. Just keep working it. And then we'll just make it ease so it doesn't kind of hit too hard. So, so you kind of see his head's already kind of a little offset a bit more. And maybe this offset might be a bit too dramatic for right now. Probably just tone this one down a bit. So if you see, I already have... Um, some good offset, and I still haven't moved or slid any of my keys or gotten messy or anything like that. So, um, you can do a lot of things with your graph editor. Um, be sure to really take advantage of what you can do with your graph editor and practice it because it's an amazing tool and you can get a lot of stuff and still stay really clean 